Dre Baldwin, Dre All Day. Dre All Day. Dre We taking it back right here. What's up, everybody that's coming into the room? Trey T, State of Nate. I see y'all coming in. As you can see, I got the camera kind of sideways here. We taking it back to the, we taking it back to the old school. Any of y'all who used to follow me back when I used to make videos in the camp, make videos in the car all the time when I used to hold the camera like this. What up to everybody that's checking into the room? Yeah, back in the back in 2010, 2011 when I used to make videos like this. I'm holding it this way because I'm putting this video up on YouTube, and I gotta say this thing. I gotta talk about basketball tryouts again because I'm getting a whole bunch of. I'm getting a whole bunch of whiners and complainers coming to me about basketball trials. What's going on, Trey Time 25? Listen, this video is not going to be too long. We're going to talk about basketball tryouts, all right? So for those of you who be, <clears throat> these videos not be talking about business and all this other stuff, this one ain't going to be about that. This, was, this one's going to be about basketball tryouts. Let's see somebody said, finally. We got a lot of people who are like, Dre, can you please tell us something about basketball tryouts? Now, before I do that, Dre, how to get females? Somebody said something about females. We ain't talking about that in this video. We talking about basketball tryouts and that's it. I talk about other topics in other videos. This one video is only about basketball tryouts, nothing else. We're not talking about business, we're talking about money, attention, branding, none of that stuff. We're talking about basketball tryouts. Before we get into this, let me introduce myself. My name is Dre Baldwin. My background is as a professional athlete, played basketball overseas nine years. I tried out for my high school team. For the first three years, got cut, finally made it my senior year. Didn't do that well even that year that I played. Went on to walk on to a college team, played college ball, did all right, then went on to play pro ball overseas. Now, a lot of people have been asking me about basketball overseas. Now, those of you watching this on YouTube, shout out to everybody watching this on replay too. I have already made about five videos about basketball tryouts. I've already made 20 videos on confidence. I made 300 videos on motivation. I made a bunch of videos on the mental aspect, the way that you set yourself up mentally before performing, like performance anxiety for those who have that. I've already made videos on that topic. The reason I'm making this video is I get a lot of people complaining like, yo, can you make a new video on something? So let me get right into it without wasting any time. Here's the first thing. The stuff that I talk about in those videos that I just mentioned are timeless and the principles are exactly the same no matter what year it is. The last video I made on tryouts was in 2014 and around this time of year and somebody had came in the comments and said, yo, Dre, can you make a new video on tryouts? They, the principles are timeless. Understand that you think of a book like the Bible. You know what year did the Bible come out? You know what year did Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill came out? The reason those books still get passed around, people still read them today because the principles in the book is not a book about the year that it is, not a book about anything contemporary. There are timeless principles in certain areas of life. And we talk about money, you talk about relationships, you talk about finance, you talk about spirituality, anything you want to talk about. There are certain principles that are timeless. Doesn't matter what year that it came out. The principles stay the principles. So that's why the videos that I made, I don't need to keep making new videos about tryouts because the same thing you need to do at tryouts last year, you still need to do it if you want to make the team this year, and then next year, and 10 years from now. And now let me address some of the people who are asking me for tryout tips videos. Here's the number one thing you need to understand about asking me for a tryout tips video. If you ask me for tips for tryouts three days or a week before tryouts, listen, if your bum ass can't play, you're still going to be a bum no matter what I say in this video understand that and the fact of the matter is if you are looking around for tips for tryouts a three days a week a day before basketball tryouts listen if you can't play nothing i say in this video is going to change the fact that you can't play you will be a bum before you get to the gym today at tryouts you're going to be a bum in the gym at tryouts and you're going to be a bum when you leave the gym at tryouts and nothing i say in this video is going to be any not even one percent responsible for that fact all right nothing if you really want tips for tryouts, this is what you need to do. Watch all the videos where I'm talking about working on your game and how I'm showing you how to get better at your game and use those all every day for a year. And then next year, you'll have all the tryout tips that you need. You'll have 365 days worth. But if you're looking for tips for tryouts a couple days before tryouts, it's probably because you can't play and you're looking for some crutch to lean on to make you feel better about yourself. Listen, nothing I say in this video is going to change the fact that you're garbage. Everybody understand that? If you're garbage... This video is not going to change it. No motivational speech is going to change it. You can't go pull up no ET video or Stephen Curry video or I can't say any magic words that's going to make you a good basketball player if you can't play. And from my experience and 
years and years and years of talking to players about tryouts and tips and giving them advice on getting better for their game. The players who can play aren't coming to me asking me for tryout tips two days before tryouts for the most part. For the most part, it's the bum-ass players who know they ain't going to make the team anyway, but they coming to me to ask for some advice so they have something to get rid of, that, something to lean their anxiety on a couple days before tryouts. Like, hey, Dre, can you make a, a new video on tryouts, man? I really need it. I need your help. Can you please help me out? I don't know what to do. I don't know what's going to impress the coach. I had no idea how I'm going to make myself stand out in front of the, all the other players there. If you don't have any idea how you're going to impress the coaches, probably because you can't play. Listen, if I was trying out for a high school basketball team right now, I don't know how I'm going to impress the coach. I'm going to just go there and show what I can do. I don't, have, I don't need any tips. I don't need nobody to tell me what to do. I don't need nobody to tell me if I should try to be a point guard or a shooting guard, if I should try to play like LeBron or instead try to play like Kevin Durant or instead try to play like Chris Paul or should I try to play like Russell Westbrook. Listen, if you got the ability to do all those things, you got the ability to choose, you should be doing all of them. And you shouldn't need no tips whatsoever. I get players come to me and say, should I play this way or that way? And I'm like, shit, if you got the game to do both, you should be doing all of it. Why are you asking somebody for advice? If you're that good, you should be doing everything. If I had the skills to just change my game however I felt like it at the drop of a hat, should I be doing it all day, every day? You don't need no advice. You don't need nobody to tell you that. If you're talking about it, you probably can't do it. That's why you're talking about it. That's why you got anxiety and you're running around looking for tips and advice and last-second help before tryouts because your bum ass can't play. Do y'all understand that? I'm going to tell you the truth straight up. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'm not going to say anything in this video that's supposed to make you feel good or feel better, give you a crutch to lean on before trials, because this is what I don't want. I don't want a whole bunch of basketball players coming to me after they got cut from the basketball team like, oh, Dre, I have no idea why I didn't make the team. I got plenty of ideas why you didn't make the team. There's only two reasons why you didn't. Number one, you ain't have enough game that the coach thought you was a good enough player to help the team. Number two, maybe you even had some game, but whatever way that you showed it, the coach didn't feel like your game would help the team get better, and that's why you didn't make it. There's only two reasons why you don't make the team. Number one, you ain't got no game. 95% of you who don't make the team is because you ain't good enough. You're just not a good enough basketball player to make the team. And you need to stop looking at the coach, stop looking at YouTube, stop looking at the advice you got, stop looking at what the other players on the team did, or stop looking at how this guy did this and this guy was friends with the coach and all these other bullshit, weak-ass excuses I hear from basketball players every single day. Y'all wouldn't believe how many bum-ass, weak-ass excuses I hear from basketball players because they just don't want to take any responsibility. So they blame everything other than themselves for not making the team. And I guarantee I'm going to get 10 comments on this video of people who say they're the one exception. Yeah, yeah, I hear you what you're saying, Dre, but you got to listen to my situation. I'm the one guy who really, I really do have an excuse. They're not going to call it an excuse, but they're going to give all these justifications that are basically excuses and they want to explain to me as if I give a damn about your explanation. I don't. All right, word newsflash, I don't care about your explanation about why you didn't make it or why the coach has favoritism or it's all politics or whatever other bullshit y'all be coming up with. Trust me, I've heard it all. I don't want to hear it. All right, so just save your comment and give it. Give your comment to somebody who cares. I'm not that person. All right, and the other reason is maybe you can play a little bit. Maybe you actually have some game. But the way that you displayed your game did not compel the coach to believe that little Johnny or little Joe or little Mike is good enough to help the basketball team get better. So not only do you have to have game to make the basketball team, you got to be able to play in a way that the coach needs you to play that you can actually help the basketball team. So if you didn't do those things, number one, show game, and number two, show that your game can help the team, you're not going to make the basketball team. Because just having skills alone, which means you could dribble around cones and you could put the little glasses on where you can't see, and you could throw tennis balls in the air, and you could pick up bean bags. Listen, if you can't go into tryouts and use those skills, whatever you've been doing or whoever you've been watching or wherever you got this shit from, and you can't translate that into an actual game situation in a way that translates to actually helping the team, then you don't deserve to make the basketball team. I don't care what training program you did. I don't care if you got it from me or you got it from any other, other thousand guys posting drills on the internet these days about basketball. If you can't translate it to actually winning productive basketball, that's not good enough to make the team. And if you ain't got no game, you shouldn't even be here asking for tips for tryouts. How you be asking? How people be asking me for tips the day before tryouts when you garbage? You know if you're garbage. And if you're watching this video, you know if you're garbage or you're not garbage. Now, you can sit here and bullshit with me all day and tell me you worked on this and that and you have no idea you're this height and this weight. People be telling me their measurements and their stats like I give a damn about your height. Listen, my answer is going to be exact. If you ask me for tips for tryouts, I don't care if you're seven feet or five feet. I'm going to give you the exact same answers. I don't care how tall you are, how old you are, what race you are, how many other guys trying out for the team, what the coach did last year, what you think is going to happen. 
your your weak ass, scared ass excuses and your predictions of what you think the coach is thinking. I don't care about none of that shit. Okay, so please stop telling me about that stuff because I don't care. It doesn't even matter. It has nothing to do with whether or not you're gonna make the basketball team. Because if you're a bum, it don't matter if there's politics or not. You're just a bum. I could come in and be the coach with no politics, no agenda, nobody's friends with me. And if you're a bum, guess what? You're still gonna not make the team the same way you didn't make the team this year, the same way you didn't make the team last year, the same way you're not gonna make the team next year. Unless you step your game up and put some game behind behind all that talking. So this is what you need to do. And I'm gonna tell everybody here the same thing I told people in 2009 when I first came out with this phrase. Get off YouTube, get off the internet, stop looking for tips, help, and advice when it's everywhere, when you think it's everywhere outside of yourself, when the fact of the matter is the tips, help, and advice that you actually need is within you, get off the internet, Stop looking for excuses, stop looking for tips, stop looking for help, stop looking for advice, and work on your fucking game. Let me say that one more time. I got to make sure I'm looking at the camera. I'm trying to park here. Work on your fucking game. It is not YouTube. It's not the coach. It's not the other 30 guys trying out. It's not the drills that you did. It's not the program that you bought. It's not the advice that you got at the last minute. The reason you didn't make the team because you can't play. That's it. That's why you didn't make the team. It's not about nobody giving you advice a couple days before. Listen, if you're a bum, no advice is going to change it. Like if I tried to go be on Iron Chef, that, that video where you try to cook, I don't know anything about cooking, never cooked in my life. So if I go to the best chef in the world and I say, yo, I got I got to do this chef competition tomorrow for a million dollars. Can you give me some advice? You got any tips for me? Yeah, I know you wrote a book about it. Yeah, I know you make videos every single day about how to be good at cooking. But listen, I never did any of it. I just want you to give me some advice right now. Yeah, I know you wrote a book on chefs that's like 100 pages long and it covers every area of cooking. But listen, I don't want to read the book. I just need some tips right now. I know you made that video about how to get ready for a chef competition, but you made that video last year can you make a new video this year none of that's going to help me because i'm not good at it i have no game i have no skills no experience and no reason to believe that i'm going to be good at it so i'm using that as a crutch a bullshit excuse to waste time before tryouts and that's what most of you players do so please stop asking me to make new videos about tryouts new video new videos about stuff that i've already covered because if your bum ass was a real player you could just go get the information no matter how old it is use it work on your game and then you wouldn't be running around like a chicken with your head cut off the minute before you're supposed to show your game because you ain't got no game to show in the first place we wrapping it up with that shout out to everybody watching this on periscope i seen y'all commenting but this is not a comment video this ain't a comments video i will be back later on to do another one those of you watching this on youtube now you got exactly what you wanted i don't care if it's 2050 this video will apply to you no matter what year it is no matter what school you go to no matter what country you're from your age your race your height your measurements whatever stats you have whatever bullshit excuse you got about the coaches and shout out to everybody watching this on replay this is what this is the way that i give people the information no matter we talking basketball business anything else i'm gonna tell you straight up i don't hold people's hands i want to empower you to get better not weaken you by giving you the answers to every single thing in your life when 95 percent of the time you already know the answers you're not stupid you're just waiting for somebody to tell you so now here it is i'm telling you work on your fucking game dreallday.com thanks for watching this video i'm sure you were entertained make sure to stay connected with me on all your favorite social networks twitter and periscope at dre all day instagram dre baldwin facebook slash work on your game you can bookmark my YouTube channel by subscribing, of course, and the website is workonyourgame, that's dot M-E, workonyourga.me. And of course, my homepage is my website, dreallday.com, so you can know exactly what I'm doing, exactly when I'm doing it, and how you might be able to be involved. Work on your game.